24 bit audio let's use those wasted bits okay this is pure speculation but i think it might just work but every amazing new invention starts with a problem so what's the problem the problem is that we know that 24 bit audio has more resolution than 16 bit great but that extra resolution is way down at levels we can't hear and most of what it is resolving is noise let me say now that this isn't the old 24-bit versus 16-bit argument. 24-bits are better, and I won't be questioning that. But the fact remains that the region where 24-bit is better is, for all intents and purposes, inaudible. So what's the point? Actually, I'll reinforce this by saying that 16-bit, done properly, already has a noise level so low that no one can hear it. So, if 24-bit is better, it's better in a way that's of no practical use to us. For production, then, yes, for various reasons, but for listening, no. But we're audio enthusiasts. Some of us are audiophiles. We want the best, better than the best, better than the human ear can ever possibly appreciate. It's an end in itself, a worthy end, I believe. So what I'm going to propose is a way of recording with 24 bits that gives us a chance of hearing extra resolution. Resolution that the human ear has at least a reasonable opportunity of hearing, not 96 decibels down in near infinite silence. Here comes the technical part. Still here? <laughs> okay, this is something that I've found it hard to get my head around properly. It's one thing reading up on digital audio theory and understanding the words on the page. It can be quite another really to absorb and properly understand it. It's like trying to visualize a tesseract, which, as you know, is a cube with an extra dimension, an object in four dimensions. <laughs> How's that going for you? Back to digital audio. Suppose you digitize an analog audio signal to 16 bits and to 24 bits in parallel. Suppose that the converters are perfect and there are no degradations and no dither. Here it is. The top 16 bits of each sample of the 24-bit recording are identical to the 16-bit recording. Only the bottom 8 bits, the inaudible bits, are different because they're only present in the 24-bit recording. Think about it. Each bit represents 6 dB. 6 dB down in 24-bit is the same as 6 dB down in 16-bit, a difference of one bit, one bit down in both. So yes, the 24-bit version is better, more highly resolving, but you can't appreciate the extra resolution. By the way, it is perfectly possible that there are errors or at least doubts in my reasoning. So feel free to comment on anything you think is dodgy. If I feel there's anything significant to report back, I'll put it in a pinned comment at the top of the comment section below. You never know, it might be there now, but it will be me in the future putting it there, so I don't know at this time. So my reasoning is this. The bottom eight bits of a 24-bit recording are wasted. These bits correspond to levels that we can't hear. So why do we have to use these precious bits to encode what we can't hear? Why don't we use them to encode what we can? I therefore propose, sounding very formal now, that we set a lower level below which the analog signal will not be encoded at all, which will be somewhere around minus 96 dBFS, give or take an approximation. We now have eight free bits to play with. <laughs> now we have a dynamic range of 96 decibels at the top end of the loudness range, which was previously represented in 16 bits in the proportion of one bit per six decibels. We can now, with a bit of mapping, represent these 96 decibels using 24 bits at the equivalent of one bit per four decibels. Hey, what we've done is encode finer detail in the range of levels that we can actually hear. I can put numbers on this. In conventional 24-bit digital audio, the top 16 bits describe the top 96 decibels of the audio in 65,536 discrete levels, which are then smoothed over in the digital to analog converter. With my proposal, this dynamic range of 96 decibels is described in 16,777,216 discrete levels. Clearly, the resolution is very much finer. It will be difficult for we ordinary hi-fi enthusiasts to hear any difference, but audiophiles certainly will, or at least they think they will. <laughs> so, over to you. Firstly, I think it's likely that there's a great big hole in my reasoning that I haven't spotted, 
and perhaps I don't have the mental capacity to appreciate, but maybe you can. Please comment and explain it in simple terms that all of us ordinary people can understand. Second, is this a worthwhile thing to do? Honestly, I do believe that those bottom eight bits are wasted, and if they could be put to good use, the world would be a better place. Is there any other way they could be used to achieve finer resolution over the range of levels that we can hear? Lastly, you probably know already that I believe that just good enough isn't good enough. Better is better, more is more, and if we can't hear it, then it gives us more of a safety margin, or headroom of appreciation, if you like. Do you agree, or are you happy with just good enough? Oh, lastly, lastly, I've asked three questions, but I think there may be other questions that I haven't thought of. Unknown unknowns, if you like. Please ask them in the comments, and our wonderful comment community, I'm sure, will give you the answers. See you soon.